Gates fly, Tababuya fly jumped on the right hand side but quickly taken a hold of and put to sleep at the end of the field whereas Iron Will has the gate speed and the lead by one length. High Moon is racing in second. Toward the inside, Tom's act. Eventadors between runners. Weedski's inching closer and closer. Hard held on the outside, number six. Special Charms at the face. Towards the inside, three and a half lengths off. At the back of the field, Tababuya. Iron Will, an uncontested lead. High Moon, head awkward for a stride or two, indicating the tempo's not all that hot. Weed skis moving around them, and Weed skis just two lengths off the tempo. Tom Zack sits quietly towards the inside. Eventador between runners, special charm. You can throw a blanket over the top five, and in behind these runners, Tababuya. Iron Will commences past the 800 by this three parts of a length. High Moon is right there, parked second. Weed Ski on the outside of Tom's act. Eventador slices through between them. Special charm and awaiting Tababuya. Top of the lane, Iron Will tackled by High Moon. Tom's act gets a nudge or two. Eventador and Weed Ski. At the 400 metre marker, Iron Will by a length and a half. Eventador's looking for galloping room. Tom's act is slicing through between them. Yes, Tom's act with a dangerous looking run at the 250 metre marker. And Muzi Yeni's body language suggests they'll go on and win with 150 to go. And it's Tom's act in command. Trying to close an event. Eventador, Tababuya, Tom Zack though, home and hose. Eventador second, High Moon third, Tababuya got up before. Lovely big strapping son of Act of War out of the model man mare romantic drama. Bred by Ness's B.B. Campbell and the Quintuses. This is for Doug Campbell, Muzieni produces Tom Zack. The body language was apparent going through between runners with a skill of a surgeon. He sliced through them, and that was it. All over, Tom Zack found some outside bedding support. Eventador, High Moon, and Tababuya. This is for the Fords, Campbells, Gary Clark, the Fries, McGregors, Mayers. Tom Zack gets that second victory. A very confident ride. Muzieni went through between runners. And as they say, the rest is history. Eventador staying on large. Tababuya from the back end of the field. He fly jumped out the gates, but was put to sleep at the end of the line. One Tom Zack. 10 rand 80 and 4 rand 80 the place will oblige. Back to the studio. Well, Tom Zach has come through to win race number four. That's horse number one, Doug Campbell with Muzieni. Well done to all the guys that are involved with this horse, the son of Act of War. Some of them have made it to the track today, including Gary, who I see here. Uh, well done to Bruce Campbell and uh, Quintas, who bred this individual. And the gentleman that takes care of uh, Tom Zach, his name is Emile. Emile, hearty congratulations to you, my brother. 1,000 Rand Hollywood bets in Gold Circle. Well done to you. Well done to Emile, the winning uh, groom. Uh, first up, let's get Doug Campbell in. I haven't spoken to Doug in a while, but are you doing Doug house things? Oh, we're surviving. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's thrilled with another winner today. We had a quite a good night on Friday, and it's, I'm just thrilled for these faithful old patrons of mine here. They're just about as old as me, and they're sticking by me. <laughs> the horses are running well, though, Doug. Yeah, they're coming right, thank you. Thanks very much. But uh, I was really thrilled. Muzi listened to the ride. This horse likes to come between horses. Yes. If you take him on his own, he uh, loses himself, he loses himself mm. and he ran a lovely race. Thank and you. you picked the right spot, draw one, 53 and a yeah. half. You're doing your homework, Doug. Perfectly, yeah. especially the agent's phone to ride it. And a lot of guys involved, I'm sure, you know, uh, all of them good mates as well. Oh, lovely. They're such loyal friends with me a long time and it's wonderful to, to have them in the stable. Thank you. And, uh, and how's Sigur Hill doing? How's Di doing? How's everybody? He's doing well. It's his phone. They're all over the moon. They're all shouting at home. They've got a big TV screen at home all watching yeah. so they're all happy as anything shouting things yeah. are warming up there now the weather's warming up too hot <laughs> <Is it? laughs> well Doug uh, all, all the best with this fella and you've done a tremendous job you know letting him bring his act together today he did thank goodness since named after my old friend Tom Allen yes actually who's a quadriplegic and he's run and he bre he addressed the mother when they bred him they named this horse after Tom Allen that's why it's called Tom's act so it's a nice memories for all of us because he died a few years ago <laughs> well, a nice story behind the horse well done here Doug thank you very much uh, congratulations well Amuzi Yeni 
and uh, yeah, instructions sometimes are key. It's not going to work out all the time. But if you don't know a horse like this individual who you sat on for the first time, it's always a big help if the right instructions are given and they work out. Yes, uh, um, the key, I think, just to get him out, is he keeps on losing ground. And I wasn't sure what the pace was. Novus handicap, I came in with the lightweight, and so you want to hold your draw, uh, a good draw, and you want to use your lightweight to be in touch with the speed and mm. try to get away from those uh, horses that are highly ra uh, higher rated. They can got a chance to quicken up better than you, so I elected to try to break as best as possible and to hold my, my spot. And it worked out beautifully from there. Uh, the key thing is to get him a bit relaxed, and the pace was quite genuine. I had him nicely settled, and I was expecting a good kick coming into the 400, and I did. I'd, I gave him nice room, and uh, I saw we were getting it all a bit tightened up, but I had a safe passage in between them, and uh, I was just biding my time to to finish off the race hitting the line strong so good win from Tom's act <laughs> yeah. uh, well spotted by you he spoke to me this morning and <laughs> I always listen and but you know it's you know never sat on a horse it's hard to be very bullish but to your form studies and uh, well done to you for finding him you know I, I know all the riding styles of almost every jockey in the country and I'm getting used to that it's when you when, yeah. when you when you're confident when you're confident on the horse and and how you bend down and how you sit when you turn into the set you look so supremely confident as you turn into the straight yeah it comes to experience uh, i think that's the key when the race starts to change you need to try to get your balance right before they you know before they ask them to go in full stretch and it's a very key part of the race we you know what i mean it's a build up to get away from the other horses who are probably in the same position as you so yeah riding is a key factor and just grateful that i've got those to do it you fit, huh? You fit. I mean, you, you don't blow out a candle. You can go eight races. You can go 12 races. You're super fit. Yeah, I can go the distance. <laughs> well done, Smoothie. Thank you. I want to thank Mr. Campbell and his patrons. I don't leave an out, Mr. Clarks, Mr. Ford, Mr. McGregor. It's just a huge team effort. We don't leave an out, but a big thanks to them. Well done to Mr. Campbell. Lovely. Gary, going to represent the guys, a whole lot of guys that are involved here. Yeah, and uh, this horse has you know, brought you joy. And I know you share a passion with all of these guys that you're involved in. And well done that he's won twice for you now. No, thanks very much for that. And of course, uh, Muzi Yeni, what a champion he is. And uh, we, we're just proud to have him on our, on our horse each time that he does run for us. So thanks so much. And of course, to Ford, uh, Mr. Ford, uh, to Doug Campbell, he's, he's a champion, as we know. Yeah. And of course, David Fryer and Ian Mayer. Uh, you know, they're all friends of mine, and we've got a few owners together, so I mean, we're just hoping it keeps rolling. Yeah, a long may it continue because Doug's picked the right spot and he's delivered to you guys. Enjoy it. Yes, and of the Muzi, and he found the gap. He said to you, when he finds a gap, it'll be over, and that's what it was. So thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, well done. Give our bits to the rest of the guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dees. Just Lovely. That's uh, Gary representing the guys. Number one, Tom Zacht has come through to win race number four.